Capricorn, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you, no particular subject. We're going to do my version of a Celtic cross. At the end, there will be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 10th house, this could be for you. You know the drill. Thank you for however you support the channel. It's very much appreciated. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome. Message may well be for you. All the information is in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Okay, Capricorn, what's going on? Let's do one more. What do we got? We have the Knight of Swords. Okay. Full steam ahead. Okay, where are you heading? You're going with full steam. Crossing you. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Everything you want to come in, don't run away now. Root of the matter. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a significant change in your energy field and what that's doing is... I almost feel like this is an energetic release, whether that's holding on to past baggage, whatever it is. Something is... is about to burst its banks, recent past. What you want... What's coming in? How you see yourself? How others see you? Advice? And potential outcome. Interesting. I was wondering if your final card's justice. I was curious as to whether justice was coming out. Okay. We have the three of wands, the sun in Aries, expansion with judgment, with temperance, with two of wands, with chariot, knight of cups and the hermit. Right, it's like... It, it, it might feel like something's frustrating and then all of a sudden everything just starts moving really quickly, almost to a point of overwhelm. So I don't know what this is. You could have been, you could very easily be dealing with something in, in legalities here or contracts. Um, it, it could be a frustrating process because we've got the Knight of Swords, recent past Queen of Swords, what's coming in, the King of Swords. These are very professional people, you know, they can be solicitors, lawyers. Um, and it's like it's like you've been waiting for something, and a little bit impatiently, possibly, um, to the point of wondering if you've made the right decisions. Uh, you have. There's a lot going off in the background here. Then all of a sudden, like the sun in Aries, so the sun meets the emperor. The sun starts melting. Emperor can be the judge. The sun starts melting. Um, the ice that's around this and then bang you receive your contract this could be like a, a house move you know you're waiting forever for the chain to all fit into place <clears throat> and all of a sudden that one sat cat that one contract signed and it's like right you're out in six weeks it, it, it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. again this doesn't have to be about um house moves this doesn't have to be about contracts it doesn't have to be about legalities but there's something here where it's like, it's now all steam ahead. There's, it's coming. And my guess, it's heading your way between now and we'll say Libra season, which is sort of mid-September to mid-October. And right now, you're being asked to kind of rest because life is going to be extremely from then. So we've got the Knight of Swords. Crossing is the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands 
is it's kind of like um it's not giving up it's getting the upper hand but because it's in its shadow position in the crossing position i kind of feel like it's there's a bit of frustration here and these walls have been put up stopping that next progression of your life now if this is a person their walls are going to start coming down or your walls might start coming down and you start being more vulnerable root of the matter is the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is mars in capricorn the tower hits the devil you guys so there's something about an energetic shift you know the lighting of the fuse that sends whatever this wall is to completely it feels like these emotions that maybe you're holding on to right now they're stagnant there's something stagnant about it recent past is the queen of swords stagnancy impatience um you know lesson after lesson lesson after lesson lesson after lesson can bring an element of cynicism so there's there's something quite cold about the queen of swords here what you want is the six of wands you want success you want the ability to be seen you want success in whatever avenue this is for you but remember for all the times that you use success in the traditional sense six of wands is success the seven of wands is rising above and then the people below are trying to chop you back down so be mindful that the more that you're seen the more you know the more successful you are the more envious eyes can come your way so make sure you're protecting your energy with this um you know the boundaries set by the queen of swords what's coming in is the king of swords and it feels like there's a there's a progression here you know like for example nothing to do with um um gender but if we look at it as a hierarchy we're, we're literally going from the knight and um, queen to the king and it's like whatever this shift is you know if if this is a contract this is the junior solicitor looking at it passes it to uh, their boss who then passes it to their boss who signs it off it's like there's a progression that's happening and that's happening in your life as well it's like you're ticking off these spiritual jumps and each time you get raised another frequency how you see yourself though at the moment is a little bit despondent four of cups you might be overthinking you might be missing something um missing someone possibly I, I don't know, Moon in Cancer, the High Priestess meets the Chariot. You could be testing out the theory of, um, you know, counterintuitive measures. We let something go for it to return. We, you know, boiling water freezes faster. Counterintuitive, yes, but successful. How others see you is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is Jupiter in Gemini. The Wheel of Fortune meets the Lovers. There's something, it feels very, especially with the, the character looking up at the stars here, something feels very vertex related. So your natal chart, there's a, there's a mathematical point called vertex, which means that, that place of fate. So you could have several things activating it right now. We've got Neptune here. We've got, um, yeah, Neptune's the standout. Venus as well with that Justice card. So there could be something going on with Venus and Neptune at the moment in your personal chart. Um, interestingly, you know, Pluto is going to be retrograding back into your chart at 29 degrees, which will be at the same degree as Neptune for the rest of this year. Well, at least at, at, for a good eight weeks uh, between um, September and November. So it's, it's kind of like there's, there's something here that just feels like a little bit potentially frustrating but you've been asked to get comfortable in this limbo moment by resting because life is like going to be literally taking off. Your advice is the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is Mercury in um, Taurus. So the magician meets the Hierophant. But there's something here about... Maintaining your level of frequency... It's, it's something to do with, let me just, psilocybin. Now, it doesn't mean to say that you go in and take in psilocybin or anything like that. 
but there's something about I mean you could be uh, micro dosing mushrooms I don't know but there's a message in psilocybin commune communing with the sacred connecting to otherworldly energy remote viewing regeneration through union coming together with a tribe finding cosmic family reversed disconnection lacking community fear of merging with others lack of interest in connection soul loss pain from the past so there's there's a lack of interest in connecting with others here i feel for whatever reason but it's all going to shift your outcome is two of swords the hangman and justice literally this sun in aries energy the sun beaming down on the emperor is we're going to go from two of swords which is a card of injustice flipping the script and then justice so it's like all of a sudden out of nowhere you get justice for whatever this is the contract that you want the house that you want the job that you want the relationship that you want where you may have, have, have failed in some sort of uh, projects f something flips something about the numbers as well and i'm trying to work it out five eight four venus venus um as a morning star is going to be for 584 days it's already started so i feel like this is a process of blessings now for a good amount of time you know 18 months of blessings coming in which might be overwhelming and you're just being asked to pause right now to rest because life is going to be there's going to be a lot of demands on you and when I say demands, it's what you want. You want this success. Let's check out the High Priestess for the High Priestess Injustice here. And I want to see also the Towering Devil. And we'll check out the Sun and Emperor as well. Okay, the tower is with the king of pentacles and the nine of swords. Okay, there's, 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 there's a message here about this Mars in Gemini energy. So Mars in Gemini is going to be in your sixth house of um, your daily habits, your health, um, pets. There's something that feels... With the king of pentacles, he's usually got a um, bull with him. And bull representation in the the runes is Urus, Aurox. There's something about using this energy between now and the 20th of um, August to strengthen. I, I would look at this as physical strength. I, I would be burning your energy of Mars in Gemini in the gym, at yoga, at Tai Chi, at Pilates, Whatever it is, there's a need to expel this tension energy. And with the bull representation of, of, of Taurus, I, 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 would, I would suggest something, something where you, it can give you strength. Again, doesn't trial and error, try, try different things. But for me personally, if this, if this was my reading, I would, I would, I would, I'm gonna, I would be looking at um, you know, lifting weights. Obviously, everybody's health is in different stages, so just do what your body says. The High Priestess is with the, the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords. Okay. Anything that's anything that feels, you know, like if, if, if job opportunities just don't seem to go your way, if anything feels like it's unfair at the moment, it's actually protection. The High Priestess is whispering the wheel is going to spin here. You know, again, like I say, injustice, the hangman just flips the script with the Wheel of Fortune, definitely, and then justice. So from injustice to justice. Fantastic. 
The Devils with the Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. Careful of burnout, guys. This, this is you, workaholics. S stop it. <laughs> and it, sometimes these workaholic aspects is, is drilled in, you know. Um, we assume it's laziness or, you know, you, you're accused of laziness as a child or anything like that. Everybody's different. Your, your body might need more rest. You know, you know, they say feminine energy needs more sleep than, than masculine energy. You've got to listen to your body. The Emperor is with the Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords. The, even the Emperor is saying time out. Your breakthrough is coming. And the Sun is with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Your last card is the Three of Cups, signifying abundance. I, all I would say right now, life might be frustrating, but the, the script is going to be flipped and you are going to get your justice from injustice to justice. Your hard work will pay off. There's a trusting that you need to know that you're protected from any storms. You know, this big mushroom is covering him. He may not look happy, but he's, 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 he's dry. The lightning in the background can't get him. Let's just see what else psilocybin has to say. Los Ninos Santos has come to tell you that you have arrived to your place of power. They are beacons of light on earth and offer psychic healing on a collective level. Los Ninos Santos are asking you to tune in and commune with the ancestors and powers that be to further develop your power. Psilocybin floods our body with light codes, loosening the knots we've volunteered to protect through our journey of life. Don't resist the profound teachings, relax into the higher mind as you commune with its loving awareness. As you find home within commune with others and experiences that support you, connect to nature and the extensive community of energies that are lovingly there awaiting your conscious arrival. Commune with the spirits and channel the wisdom provided with sure-footed spontaneity. You're getting your justice, Capricorn. Um, it's arriving. So right now, you just need to breathe, rest and receive. Oh, in your extended, watch let's have a look. But in your extended, we're going to take the energy of the injustice and then we'll work around it to get to the justice. We'll see what further we can get. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if it resonates. Mars in Leo, Mars in Capricorn, Jupiter in Leo, Moon in Cancer, Jupiter in Gemini, Mercury in Taurus, Moon in Le uh, Libra, Pisces, Libra, Sun in Aries, Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius, Mars in Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Jupiter in Capricorn, Aquarius and Gemini. Pentacles, swords, wands, cups, everyone's here. Those are your standouts. Take care. Let me know. See you soon.